Hey Redeeming Life Church, spring is upon us. People are coming out of hibernation. Uh, after this long cold winter, people are starting to come outside and come alive again. And that's exciting. Just like last year, we're going to kick off our outreach efforts in this community with a celebration of our resurrected Lord. We have three services during Resurrection Week that you can invite your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, your family to, to join us in celebrating Jesus. This year we're going to be doing a Good Friday service at the Community Center at 6.30 p.m. We're going to be doing a sunrise service like we did last year at 8 a.m. in Riverside Park at the Lions Terrence Pavilion. And then we're going to do an Easter celebration at 11 a.m. at the Community Center. So three opportunities to come and celebrate Jesus. I want to encourage you to come to all of them. Get, get involved. Come participate. And bring others to celebrate Jesus with you. On top of that, we have these door hangers to make it easy. So grab some. You can give them to your friends, your family, your coworkers, your neighbors. You can go around your neighborhood and hang some up. We've had mission teams here because we are so blessed. We had a mission team here from South Carolina. They put about 500 of these out. It's got an invitation to these services. It's got a gospel uh, message on the back. Really good stuff. And then we had a team from Cushing, Oklahoma. A wonderful team. Some of you had a chance to interact with them. They came out. They put 1,800 of these things on doors. On top of that, both these two teams were out praying. They were doing street ministry. It's just really an exciting time as we're getting ready to, to work to advance the kingdom in this community. So be praying that God would do a miraculous work here. Also, be thankful. Do you realize that, that churches from all around Utah and Idaho that have contributed to the cooperative program of the Southern Baptist Convention made it possible for us to get these through the Utah-Idaho Southern Baptist Convention. And then we had some other contributors as well. We've had contributors from a church in Texas. We've got Forest Hills Baptist Church. Church. We've got individuals that have been contributing, and, and, and then Williamstown Baptist. These, these churches have made it possible for us to really start pressing into some outreach stuff. Plus, Coffee for Atheists, we're kicking that off. We're going to be doing all kinds of great stuff this summer, so please just start bathing this stuff in prayer. And, by the grace of God, we have the opportunity to do baptisms now in the party room at the community center where we worship. So we can do baptisms on Sunday morning, and get this, we're hoping, we're trying to do some baptisms at our Easter service. How cool is that? So if you're interested in being baptized, please, please, we don't have a lot of time, please reach out, let me know. We want to work that out and start praying that we would start to see lots more baptisms as we continue to reach out into this community. Pastor Brett's going to be preaching. He's uh, looking at, it's traditionally called Palm Sunday, but he's looking at Jesus coming into Jerusalem and the tension of how people are, are, are looking at this Jesus and they don't really fully understand. And, and within one week, uh, they go from absolutely proclaiming his wonderful name and, and celebrating him to yell and crucify him. Uh, be, please be praying for Brett. This is going to be uh, a tough text, and I think it's going to have a lot to say to us. We hope to see you on Sunday. Grab some of these when you're there, and now let's just be praying for all the amazing things that God's going to do this year in Rose Park.